Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad Y700-17ISK or the model name would be 80Q0. This information can be found at the bottom of the laptop on the stickers. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how you can do your own service cleaning and repasting the CPU and the GPU on this laptop. They do get really dirty because they do have a big fans in them. There are two fans and they do suck up a lot of dust and air and circulation is a lot. So pretty much I'm going to take you on a step by step how to open it up and how to clean it up or service it. All right, tools that you're going to be needing. It's really simple. You will need a... a Cleaning shop towel. These are the shop towels. I'll leave the link for all the materials that I use in a video description. You will need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 95% plus. You will need your favorite thermal paste. You can use the Arctic MX4 or Arctic MX5, which are really good. Or if you want to go a little crazy, you can go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which are one of the best brands, but they're also expensive. But one of the best ones I love, and they don't have a big difference from the Cryonaut, but about two or three Celsius difference, is the Arctic MX4 or MX5. You will need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set kit. You can get the Pro version or the simple screwdriver set. They do have an S2 class steel. That means they're really tough in steel. We're going to use a Phillips number one and Phillips number double zero. You will need an opening tool. If you get the Pro set from the iFixit screwdriver set, you will get the opening tool and some tweezers. If not, you can grab yourself a guitar pick. Few of the metallic guitar picks are really good to opening covers and cases. You will need a curved tweezers or straight tweezers. They do actually come again with the Pro set version if you want to. All right, with all these tools on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. This one has been already open, I guess, because they have a different one missing a screw and one color different. All right, so down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws on every corner going all around to the front end. So we're going to go ahead and start removing all the screws, including the one in the middle. So go ahead and remove it. I'm using a Phillips number one. Or was it Phillips number zero? Let me see. Phillips number one. So go ahead and remove all the screws. There are a few long screws at the back end, back middle right here. These are the really long screws. You can't mistake them with anything else. So I am missing one screw in the corner. So All right, once we remove all the screws, now we're going to grab our opening tool. And this laptop is really big, it's a 17 inch. So what you want to do, you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Let me see. No, it's not on the screen or it's on the bottom cover, palm rest and the bottom. Once you have it in there, now you want to just twist it towards the screen size and you want to hear some clicking. You want to do all around in the front. Do all the front end, go to the sides, make sure you hit those tiny clicks. Do the side all the way to the back corner, to the left and the right. All right, now that we got it mostly the front and the sides open, now I'm going to lift it up front and I'm going to push it towards the back side, towards the vents. So I'm just going to push it slowly, wiggle it around and push it. You already released one side, so is one more side I need to release. So I'm just pushing it back, and there it, is. and it's already loosened up. Wow, it is pretty dirty. So you can see, the, even the dust mesh in here, it's already covered up. So I can't even see through some parts. I can see through, but in the metal right here where the fans are, they're really clogged. So that's why it's overheating. Another reason because of the dust mesh. So another tool that is really help, helping you guys, is gonna help you a lot. Another tool is the you know, toothbrush. Used or new toothbrush, 
with this one you can just take it outside and start rubbing scrubbing and clean it up first clean it dry cleaning do it dry mode and then you can put alcohol and clean it with an alcohol so we're going to put this to one side we are going to take it outside and clean it blow some compressed air through the speakers try not to touch too much because they do get dried out and you can damage the earlobes and this is a ram cover here ram stuff so leave it like that first thing first we're gonna disconnect the battery by pulling this cable back it's straight back don't pull it sideways make sure it's straight you pull it out so you get the battery disconnected there are two fans that really dirty they're right over here so we're gonna remove the fans unless the fans they do come attached to the no they're not attached so let's go ahead and remove the fans there's one screw right in here so i'm going to grab my magnet every fan has two screws so remove the screws for the fan and now you can pull out the fan up and grab the jack by the corner don't grab it by the cables right on the corner put your fingers right there and wiggle around and it will eventually come out but you don't want to yank on the cables okay again these fans are going to go out and we can brush them out and clean them up nicely i'm going to show at a little bit mass forward after cleaning up we're going to open up the fan and do a really nice cleaning okay now same thing on here remove the connector remove the fan now we're going to remove the heat sink remove one two three four five six screws the screws do have a c lock on them that means they will not entirely come out so loose them up and lift up the heat sink and there you have it so somebody as i said open it up and they put a really garbage thermal paste because there is not even thermal it's a thermal grease so it pushed everything away so there's not even a good contact you can see the copper in there it's already oxidized in there so that's why it's getting like a really bad performance the vents are really nicely clogged almost so we are gonna take it outside and clean up again people keep asking me should i replace the thermal pads on here do not bother by replacing the thermal pads it is not necessary but if you do want to replace the thermal pads these are a 0.3 millimeters thermal pads so grab a 0.3 thermal pad and you can replace all the thermal pads in here but it is honestly not too necessary to re replace them but again depending on client and depending if how far you want to go so let's put this to one side and we're going to take it outside and clean it we have no space here now in here again we're going to clean up all this with a air can or with a compressed air we gotta clean up outside with a toothbrush just brush it off and clean it out and once we did that we're gonna clean up the cpu and gpu you want to grab a piece of working shop towel workshop towel and you want to soak it in alcohol and you want to rub right straight over the cpu and gpu we're gonna do another pass at pass at the end so don't worry about it right now so I'm gonna take this outside and clean it up and I'll be back. All right, now that we cleaned up the motherboard, we clean up the fans, they're nice and clean. And we did open up the heat sink and I realized this heat sink has a little dent on the fins right there because the last guy that opened it up, they messed up I guess by the fans and they just damaged the Fins, but there's not no big deal just leave them the way it is if yours is damaged now we are going to clean up the heat sink thermal paste so let's go ahead and clean it up remove this garbage and i'm going to show you a trick to clean up the copper because this copper is oxidized because of the bad thermal paste that they put and we're gonna clean it up nicely again if you want to replace the uh, pads you can replace the pads but in this case i'm not replacing it because the client doesn't want to replace but again it's not a big deal because vrams actually don't need over uh, they don't get overclocked so they don't need the thermal pads 
the thermal pads are there for people that they want to overclock them. That's why they will need to replace the thermal pads and replace the pads on the power regulators. But if you're not overclocking them, don't worry about it. Again, now regarding the heat sink, what I do with these heat sinks right now, I'm going to grab a copper solution or silver solution, silver cleaning solution. And with this one, you can grab it in a paste format or a liquid format. I got mine in the shop somewhere in downtown in a liquid format. I'm just going to grab a tiny one and look at the magic. And it's going to work its way through and it's going to clean up nicely the copper. So it does smell really horrible, but it's one of the best ways to clean up the copper nicely. So we get the true copper exposed. And once we put the actual thermal paste, there's not going to be enough air in there to oxidize it. I'm going to close this because it smells like a big dump right here. It does get and deoxidize fast because copper reacts to the air. So once you clean it up, make sure you put a pass going through here and apply your thermal paste on here. So I'm going to run the cable for here. Put one drop on the GPU and one tiny line on the CPU. And after that, do a quick pass. Okay, and quickly bring it over, set it down straight. Follow the numbers, screen them or just uh, cross screw them. I like to do uh, one and four first. So that way the spreading of the thermal paste is better. All right. Now that we put the heating in there, we're going to grab the fans, bring the fans, sit them down in a correct position. Right there. First, go ahead and plug in the fan, just push in the contact right there now put the screws for the fan the long screws goes right by the motherboard close to the motherboard and the short ones goes right on the tip of the fan now we're going to cover up this one here put it on top and the last thing down here would be to just make sure all these cables they go in place they don't get pinched anywhere now let's go ahead and connect the battery bring it evenly and push it towards the motherboard and this cable should be somewhere over here just like this not over like that but just leave it like this not gonna go anywhere all right and one of the last thing would be the bottom cover that you cleaned up now that you can actually see through here on the camera you can't you're gonna bring it down and you want to scoop it from the back so it's just kind of scooping in it bring it from the back towards the front end of the laptop and just bring it make sure you do those tiny clicks and then now squeeze down pretty much we are done and now the last step would be to just grab the biggest screws put at the these four screws at the back and the short screws all over the and bottom case again i hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out to do your own service if it did please click that like button and if you want to support the channel click subscribe and if you have any question or comments leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the screws i am actually gonna turn it on for those people that think that uh, and why I don't turn power on the laptop after servicing. So I am actually going to turn it on. So let's go ahead and power it on. I don't know if he has any power juice on the battery, but let's see. I think it does. So.
So let me get the power supply. There we go. Now we're gonna power it on. And there we have the logo right there. And then again, it's loading to the Windows. And it should get in the Windows with no issue. There we go, that's, that's the user. I don't know if you guys can see on. Okay. And that will be all for today.